Hey, Jim. Had a bit of a scare, huh? Okay, what's going on with you? You wouldn't believe me. I told you. I want to hear your side of the story, your truth. That's what's important. That is what I care about. So let's make it official. All right, Doc. I uh, made a pact with my friends to kill myself, and uh, I fucked it up. And now they've come back to make sure that I uh, keep up my end of the bargain. How can they make you do that? Well, now that's the problem, see, is that they can't kill me, because that wouldn't be suicide. I have to kill myself. And until I do, there, she's going to kill everyone else. Like family and friends? I don't think they give a shit, Doc. Um, they'll kill anybody. As long as they're around me, people are in danger. Mom. Am I in danger, Jake? What do your friends look like? Well, they look like they did before, except now they're uh, rotting corpses. Yeah. Sebastian slit his wrists. The wounds are just open right up. And, uh, Ben, Ben must have broken his neck or something, because, uh, because when he walks, his head sort of, uh, flops around from side to side. Jess and Adam are the worst, though. Uh, she's just got this hole blown right through her head, and her jaw is sort of dangling by bits of tendon, and he's just this burnt, pulverized mess. Uh, it's sort of hard to describe, really. I don't even know where to start. And the maggots. Jesus. That's a very graphic description. You have a vivid imagination. It's not my imagination, Dr. Badlow. How's that, Jake? Well, they're standing right behind you. You know, if I look, I'm giving your delusions credibility. Again, Doc, I don't really think they give a shit. 